Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Super Make Something. Today, we're making a 3D printed business card dispenser as I get ready for the Cleveland Mini Maker Fair. Let's get started. I will be attending the Cleveland Mini Maker Fair at the Cleveland Public Library on November 3rd, 2018. To get ready for the event, I designed and ordered some Super Make Something business cards that contain information about where to find me on social media and a QR code that will take people to my YouTube channel. My current plan is to demo the robotic drawing machine that I built in the previous episode through a podium presentation, so it may not be possible to personally hand my business cards to everyone who attends the talk. Therefore, I decided to build a spring-loaded business card dispenser to easily share my contact information with everyone who is interested while I am presenting. The business card dispenser is made out of the following components. Four rubber suction cup feet, 14 3 8 inch long 440 screws, seven 1 inch long 440 aluminum standoffs, one 3D printed base plate, several compression springs, one 3D printed carriage plate, one 3D printed top plate, and several 440 washers to keep the screw heads from eating into the plastic components. Let's begin by designing and 3D printing the dispenser. I first measured the width, length, and thickness of my business cards using a set of digital calipers. Next, I opened up SolidWorks, a solid modeling, computer-aided design software package that would allow me to create a 3D virtual model of all of the dispenser's components. I first created a sketch from the measured business card dimensions and used this to create a top plate that standoffs could attach to using a set of screws. I next designed a matching base plate that the standoffs would mate to on the other end, which also contained a feature that only allows one business card to slide out at a time. To keep feeding the business cards up automatically, I then designed a carriage plate that sits on a set of compression springs. The operating concept in this design is that the stack of business cards sits on top of the carriage plate, which in turn sits on top of the compression springs that are pre-loaded by the stack of business cards. As a card is removed from the stack, the springs decompress slightly, translate the entire carriage assembly upward, and move the next card in the stack into position to be slid out of the dispenser. In this design, the standoffs play a triple role. First, they are spaced along the top of the plates in such a way that they perfectly contour a stack of business cards and prevent them from translating around the dispenser. Second, the standoffs act as guides for compression springs that slide over the standoffs. And third, the standoffs also act as a guide for the carriage plate, constraining it to only move up and down. The final component in the design is a set of rubber suction cup feet, which thread into the base plate and allow me to stick the dispenser onto any horizontal or vertical surface. Once I was happy with the overall design, I saved the top plate, carriage plate, and base plate as an STL or stereolithography file, which reconstructed the 3D geometry of each CAD file into a triangular mesh. I next opened up Cura, a free 3D slicing program, imported the STL file for each piece, adjusted the print setting so that the objects would print at a 0.1mm layer height for a nicer surface finish, and exported the resulting set of print instructions to an SD card. I then plugged the SD card into my 3D printer and started the print. The files generated by Cura are print instructions written in G-code, which tell the 3D printer how to make each object one layer at a time using the Fuse Deposition Modeling or FDM Additive Manufacturing process. In an FDM Additive Manufacturing process, the print head moves along a print bed and continuously extrudes a thin line of melted plastic filament as it travels around. While this process is slower than traditional subtractive manufacturing processes, which remove material from a large block of raw material, it has the advantage that it is relatively cleaner, which makes it good for desktop prototyping, wastes less material, and that it can manufacture complicated geometries more easily. For these pieces, the total print time was approximately 10 hours. After all of the parts had printed, it was time to assemble and test the business card dispenser. I began by inserting seven 440 screws into the recessed holes on the bottom of the base plate. Next, I grabbed seven one-inch aluminum standoffs and screwed them onto each screw. I next took four rubber suction cup feet, flipped the base plate over, and screwed them into the remaining base plate holes. After this, I dug through a collection of springs that I bought from my local hardware store and placed four of them onto the four corner standoffs. I then slid the carriage plate over the springs and inserted a stack of business cards between the standoffs. While pressing down on the cards, I next attached the top plate to the other side of the standoffs using more screws with washers underneath their heads in order to prevent the screw heads from eating into the plastic. At this point, the assembly was done and it was time to test out the dispenser. I stuck the dispenser to my table and tried to slide out my business card. The cards easily slid out of the holder one at a time, making this accessory ready for the Cleveland Mini Maker Fair. 
Overall, the business card dispenser works as intended and easily allows people to take a business card. Because the main functional component of the build are the standoffs and springs, the dispenser is easily customizable depending on the hardware and number of business cards you have on hand, by using shorter or longer standoffs and springs, and by fine-tuning the standoff height with additional washers. Additionally, all features on the dispenser are sized to work with metric hardware as well. If you're interested in building this project yourself, a link to the STL files and the bill of materials can be found in the video description below. If you'll be attending the Cleveland Mini Maker Fair, be sure to stop by and say hi and to grab a card for yourself. I definitely look forward to meeting some of you in person, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, see you soon, and go super make something. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Your support helps me make more episodes. Links to all project files can be found in the video description below. Click the subscribe button on the left to keep up with my latest projects. Click the cards on the right to check out more episodes and connect with me on social media. Thanks again for watching. Now go super make something.